All right, I'd just like to briefly take you through Jim's show, um, Jim Turner. Um, it starts with a still life in 1974, and we've got his um, landscapes, we'll call regional Katoomba, and um, uh, various other regions locally that Jim has done. And, um, so these range from late 70s through the 80s. And a lot of the heavier pieces because of limitations with the um, old building here. We've had to put the heavier works on the floor. Um, got some Jim's inter interiors. And lovely works in oil. And then we have the Jim's uh, war paintings. And, uh, done a lot of research, uh, at least one book to my knowledge, in Australia's involvement in the, in the wars, World War II, Vietnam, Korea, Malaysia, uh, these are all World War II um, fights with the Japanese Air Force. Um, and then we have this lovely piece that um, is Jim's acknowledgement of the people of this land and the, the land itself, the animals, the sea. And, uh, and Jim's favorite, the flora and fauna. Uh, so we got Jim's portrait of uh, the Admiral. I can't remember his name here, but um, we've got Jim's major sculpture pieces. Sculptures on red gum, camphor laurel, bank bank skia. Um, I'll show you them in the front too. Um, so we have one of Jim's abstract expressionistic works from 1983. Unfortunately, the two others were unsellable due to storing conditions. Um, and then we've got these uh, wonderful pieces from. Um, 2019. Uh, they seem deceptively simple at first, but once one spends time with them, one begins to appreciate them. Um, these are Jim's 2019 uh, landscapes. Um, I've kind of been over in the essay, but the wonderful works of restrained impressionism combined with scientific illustration in the foreground. And this one, he started in 2019 and just finished uh, for this show in the last couple of weeks. The collection of, of Jim's pastels from, I believe, 86 that we ha haven't managed to find them to, to display. And we've got Jim's war uh, prints. And he's taken uh, to the Surviving pilots and got them to sign. We also have two of Jim's lithographs that I'll display here shortly after the video. Um, so that's the bulk of the show. There's also um, quite some. Here's the last of Jim's, one of my favorite of his abstract expressionist pieces. Um, and here we have um, some 180. Um, original watercolors that Jim has used for illustration in his own books and um, other books that have been published. I believe it's 16 books uh, in total Jim has published or had published. So oftentimes he's been the author, um, but you know, always he's been the illustrator. Um, and then um, we haven't counted the A4s because he's just brought them um, within the last day or two. If there's two full, large folders of it, well, I would imagine there would be um, between the two folders some 100, 120 pieces there of beetles and bats and um, various small mammals. Um, wonderful work. Jim's illustration is top notch. So, the only other thing that um, there's a few small pieces that we haven't used because we've just run out of space. There's this and some of his famed sketches in the office. 
that we just don't have room for. Um, there's an abundance of work by Jim. And uh, we had to kind of go through it and choose what was in the best condition and what was not. Um, so. Display at the Velvet that was was saw. Jim is wonderful. Tumba piece with his uh, small, smaller works, sculptures on mistletoe and and whatnot. Uh, we have more of Jim's um, abstract expressionist pieces here. I do have to say that it is quite a beautiful window display, if I do say so myself. Um, so that sums up the show. Like I said, there's a few minor details to see if we could get the prints out a bit better and the lithographs out a bit better. And also a number them is um, this. This is Jim's catalog, which I've done this week. So it's um, 12 pages and it covers his entire career. And I've also written a very nice essay. If I could get it here. So this is Jim's essay. That I've written, and uh, we've got the price list on A3, double-sided, and Jim's own bio, and some of Jim's books on offer. These are his kids' books, which are quite lovely, and um, Jim's steam locomotive books that he has illustrated and written himself, and uh, some of Jim's own explanation of his process here um, regarding the watercolors. So we're set to have a lovely show and hope that everything goes well and I'll take some footage from the show.